Assalamu alaikum. Dear students, how are you? I hope all of you are fine. So before starting our today's topic, there are some questions which I have to ask you. Bilal, would you come there and clean the board? Please come there. Okay, thank you. Have your seat. Now, what did he do? Bilal cleaned the board. He cleaned the board. Excellent, Akram. He cleaned the board. Let me write it on the board. He cleaned the board. Thank you. What happened to the board? Yes, the board was cleaned by him. Excellent. The board was the board was okay thank you sorry the board was cleaned by him now second thing imran please come there and read that book okay please have your seat thank you what did he do he read the book. Excellent. He read the book. He read the book. Thank you. What happened to the book? Excellent. The book was read by him. The book was read by him. Now yesterday I was writing a letter, now I am again uh, writing that sentence over there. I, I wrote a letter. Now please tell me what happened to the letter. A letter was written by me. Excellent. A letter was written by me. Now dear students, see, there are two types of sentences over there. First type of sentence is where subject is the doer of the action. For example, in case of first sentence, he is the, he is cleaning the board. Okay, he is the doer of the action. Similarly, as in second sentence, he is the doer of the action because he is reading. In third case, I'm writing, uh, uh, I was writing the letter. So I was the doer of the action. The sentences where the subject is the doer of the action, those sentences are related to active voice. So please keep this thing in mind. And in second types of sentences where the subject is the receiving of the action, those sentences are related to the passive voice. So there are two types of sentences. So first I'm repeating that. Thus, if the subject is the doer of the action, the sentences are active voice. And if the subject is the receiver of the action, those sentences are passive voice. Simple thing is that. Now, as uh, you have to appear in ninth class examination, so there is the question, change the voice. The question uh, consists of five questions and is of five marks. That is very important. So when changing, the question is related to the change the voice. So while changing the voice, we need to keep certain uh, rules and regulation. There are four or five rules and regulation we have to keep in mind. There are, first of all, we change the subject. For if the subject of the active voice becomes the object of the passive voice and the object of the active voice becomes the subject of the passive voice. This is the very first rule and simple. You people have to keep in mind. Second thing and more important that while changing uh, those subjects sometimes uh, there, is, there is the specific noun and sometimes there is the pronoun so while changing those 
those pronouns their shapes sometimes change for example if subject is he when he will come as an as a as an object it will become him so i uh, we have done the exercise related to the personal pronouns so all uh, table you people have to keep in mind uh, every person has every person pronoun has three states subjective objective and possessive so we have already uh, done this activity please keep this thing in mind and second thing is we use the past participle form uh, along with the auxiliary verb and auxiliary verb comes according to the form of the tense of the verb if uh, the sentence if the sentence is of past tense we will use auxiliary verbs of the past tense and we have already done this thing for example the forms of the be uh, the that's the first form is am are then second form of be is was and were and third form of be is been in case of future tense we will use the auxiliary verb will and shall uh, at um, when we will do those exercises we will talk about it but at the moment please keep this thing in mind if the sentence related to the uh, present tense then we will use is am are or the last thing we use the preposition by before the object of the passive voice so these are simple rules and regulation please keep those rules and regulation in your mind when changing uh, the voice of the tense now go ahead we have an exercise an activity for you people please open uh, page 187 uh, of your grammar and translation book and there are the five uh, tenses uh, or sentences over there first of all see what uh, what is their voice either active voice or passive voice and then change them into uh, and change their voice you have five minutes uh, after it i'm taking your response yes irfan uh, i'm going to take your responses because we have a uh, short time irfan have you done it yes please and First of all, tell me what form, what tense is of that first uh, sentence? Uh, the mother loves the children. Excellent, excellent, excellent. It is uh, uh, present tense. And uh, have you changed it into the uh, in uh, to the passive voice? Please tell me. The children are loved by the mother? Exactly. Excellent. The children are loved by the mother. Dear students, now you people have seen that Ifan has uh, utilized all those rules of changing uh, the uh, active voice into the passive voice. First of all, he has uh, changed the sub position of the subject, the, the, the subject uh, mother, the mother has become the object of the passive voice and the children uh, of the uh, 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 of the uh, object uh, uh, have become the subject of the passive voice, the children. Another thing, we utilize uh, auxiliary verbs according to our subject. If the subject is plural, then we will uh, use plural, uh, plural form of the uh, auxiliary verb the children now we have uh, use all because children are plural otherwise we, we in case of singular we will have use is so the children are then the past participle is loved used the children are loved and uh, we have 
used by before the mother uh, the preposition by so in this case we have utilized all those rules while changing the uh, a, a active voice into the passive voice i think you people have i think you people have understood all those things now now you now you have to uh, i'm just closing it now you have to you have to do an exercise uh, at your home that exercise is also there uh, at 187 page you have to use only first 10 sentences first of all recognize them and then change their voice and note all these 10 sentences on your notebook i will check them just uh, tomorrow inshallah ta'ala thank you very much tomorrow we will use the other exercises as well thank you allah Hafiz.